encourage my soul and let us journey on for the night is dark and I am far from home thanks be to God the morning light of peace the storm is passing over Hey, what's going on? It's the one that over show. You know Ken Spence in the building. Um, hope you're having a blessed day, a blessed week. Um, normally, when I when I host uh, these videos, when I'm standing up, I'm normally singing a song. Um, I've never been really sitting down singing a song, but this time I wanted to kind of deal with uh, a song leading training from this vantage point, just to have a conversation with you. Um, this video is titled "How I Song Lead," and the reason it's titled "How I Song Lead." is uh, because what uh, I don't want it to be how to song lead um, I just want to give you my take on it um, and the reason all of this all of these videos are compiled in a playlist and the reason they're compiled in a playlist is to give the the brand new song leader just an instrument to just look view study for a little bit and really get into it to say okay I understand what I need to do um, the reason in the playlist uh, we dealt with the mindset and the why, the what, the how. Uh, we dealt with that first because if we don't change the mindset and you just have the vocal ability, you'll come into this thing, you know, swinging and having absolutely no form, not knowing how to, you know, handle this thing appropriately. So I'm, I'm talking about my take and I'm going to kind of talk about mindset a little bit, um, but I am going to get to the how to. Um, this is and probably will be a two part video, if not a three part video. Um, because there's a lot. I'm, I'm, it's not scripted at this point. I'm really just speaking from my heart. Um, just speaking those things that are on my mind that I wanted to convey to you uh, to help you as you grow into a song leader, worship leader. Um, first and foremost, I have to share that when I approached song service from the very outset, um, it wasn't the reason I began leading song service was not uh, because I could sing, um, because I might have led a song in before Sunday school we'd sing a verse of a song then go right into prayer um, so I, I, I kind of sat there and I heard the brothers who were up there great brethren that were up there and um, they, they could pray they could they could teach they could they could do some wonderful things but they couldn't sing um, and so I said you know would it be alright if I did that and I had done that like once or twice and that was cool um, Brother Wash Grant, he let me do that. Brother Angelo Lilliston, he uh, let me do that. And you know, it, it you know, they, I guess they were encouraged by a, a young song leader coming up. But I had never led a song. I don't even think I did a great job doing those things. But the day after my father's funeral, I don't know. I, I can't say that it was. Oh, I can sing. I happened to go downstairs at Vine Street. Go downstairs to the main office. Brother Norman, Brother Jones was sitting in there and said, "Hey, we need a song leader for this evening." Brother Dave Gerardo was in there and he could sing. Um, could do a great job singing in the afternoon. Um, but I think it was he didn't necessarily want to. He did it because he had to. And so I walked and I said, "Would you mind if I led song service?" There was something in my spirit. As I've said in a, in a video or two before, it was the day after my father's funeral. Um, I was 14 and when I went downstairs, I went downstairs with a purpose, with the purpose. I knew what time they were meeting. I knew what time they were going to discuss who was going to lead song service and do the order of worship. Um, so I walked down there at the right time um, intentionally because there, it felt like there was something, something in my heart that, that needed to be expressed. Um, and so those songs that I sung, I never forget those songs I sung. Um, I remember the the lineup like it's nobody's business um, because we had the opening prayer, the two songs. It was just a little talk with Jesus. Everybody will be happy over there. We had scripture reading and prayer, and then trouble in my way. And then um, and I kind of became known for singing that song, and others have sung it even more beautiful than me. And I'm you you got it. <laughs> but um, after that, uh, it, uh, invitation and response was just as I am. Communion was at the cross, which happened to be my father's favorite song, my younger brother's uh, favorite song as well. So I kept it. It was something within me that said, it's time to go and do something. And so I did it because I knew that the options weren't great. I wasn't great myself. But um, because of that, it pushed me to, to move forward. 
And after that, um, I had had an incident. I got cocky on myself and, you know, I was humbled. And my mother taught me a lesson. I teach all of my song leaders. This has to be about God. It can't be about you. Because if it's about you, it's going to fail. If it's about God, then it can move forward. Then it will be powerful. Then nothing can stop it. Um, and that's, you know, pulling that uh, idea or that thought from Acts chapter 4 when uh, Gamaliel, he said uh, in talking about the apostles, he said, listen, listen, if you remember this person and you remember that person, you remember the movements that they created, uh, well, they were killed and their followings just dispersed right after. But let's be careful because if this is of men, it's going to fail. But if it's of God, be careful we're not fighting against God. So pulling a principle, not the contextual understanding, but pulling a principle from that, if this isn't about God, it will fail. If it is for God, it can't be stopped. And so that's the the, the, the mindset that I, I, I had to learn, and my mother had to teach me that, um, through a very humbling experience, not just her, uh, but also um, uh, the brothers, Brother Jones, who handled worship uh, for so many years back then, and Brother Norman as well, uh, to really teach me something. And then what happened was I started to get closer um, to God. I will share that this, this is a Bible, of course, uh, but this, if you want, I've said it in another video before, but if you want to get closer to God, if you want to become more impactful, more powerful um, in your Christian walk, this is the book to follow. This is the book to focus on. The reason it's the book to focus on is because these have the words of life. You have to understand, Proverbs uh, says it um, in so many different points. I mean, the first chapter, it, it says it, but looking at verse, uh, verse, um, looking at chapter 9 and verse 10 it says it again the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy one is understanding this is the niv version of course so this right here improves your ability to sing this right here improves your ability to uh bring people into the the right mindset to worship god to praise god this right here is the book of life so if you want to be better at anything you got to get here first but as a song leader we're talking about, this, this is just one of the avenues. If you want to get better at that, this is it. Because, trust me, there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. The only way to really know there's not a friend like the lowly Jesus is to be here and then live life. Live life and find out how true that friends are or some frenemies as we call them are go through life and but keep this by your side keep this right across your chest stick with god's word you're going to have good success joshua 1 and verses i believe it's verses 5 through 7 stick with this keep keep this in, in your mouth you'll have incredible success but this right here that song i just sung go ahead and go through life holding this to your chest go through life go through one year Go through six months, go through one month of dealing with ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs that the next time you sing, there's not a friend. You sing it because you know it, because you understood it. So when I approach song service, when I approach preaching, when I approach teaching, anything regarding God's kingdom, I always approach it first that I need to get stronger in this. And as you can see from the many bookmarks that are in there, I have a regiment. Matter of fact, um, I want to share with you, if you want to be a good song leader, you got to develop a very good uh, 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 regimen of studying God's word. And I, I'll, I'll throw some things up here uh, just to show you. This is just an itemized list of things that, that I do or things that I have done or things that, no, this is actually things I'm doing right now. I've done this list or something like this before where, you know, I'll write down, okay, I'm reading two Psalms a day. I'm reading one proverb, one chapter of Proverbs uh, per day, uh, reading and studying through the Bible. That's continuous. That means if I get from Genesis 1 to Revelation uh, 22 and 20, then I'm going to start all over again, you know, and, and so that is constant, that is continuous. Uh, memory verses, verses that I like to memorize, verses for even classwork that I like to memorize, um, personal evangelism study. There's actually a book on personal evangelism, uh, an excellent book by, uh, is it Bruce Bailey, I think it is, I can't remember his name, um, and I don't have it here with me, um, but in that book, like I go through that because I want to be a better soul winner, I want to be a soul winner for God. Uh, not just want to be, but I want to improve on that. So that the moment, that's what I'm looking at. And then I have my personal development reading. But uh, I have these scheduled, like throughout the day, how I'm doing it. 
you know, it's, it's, it's something I take very seriously and something I would hope you would take very seriously as well. That's my take on song leading. I mean, like, this is the first thing that you really got to get good at. If you get good at this, if you get good at understanding this, applying this, then you'll see results in every aspect of your life. But it first takes you getting closer to him through knowledge of his word. Not just knowledge, but understanding of his word to improve as a song leader. Um, that's my first point. My second point is when it comes to song leading, and again, this is how I, how I song lead. This is my take on it. Um, that when it comes to approaching the people of God, we can't approach them like any song will do. We can't approach any particular portion in worship service like any song will do. Um, it's important and imperative we understand this fact. Briefly, I'll explain. Um, one of the things that a song leader um, is good at, now mind you, I learned this uh, especially in the hip-hop realm. When I was in the industry, um, what I would do is I would walk through the crowd before the show. I, I distinctly remember in Seattle, we were performing Me Life Cycle, um, uh, Scarab from Living Legends. Um, we were all performing. Um, Scarab was the, 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 the main act. Um, uh, the New Law was there. It was a whole, it was just a fantastic event. We were performing with a live man. But I, I'll never forget, um, I walked in and I actually got this from KRS One. No lie, this is absolute truth. He says, yo, before you get up on stage, walk through the crowd. Get a vibe. Where are the people? Okay, I might add that song today. I might pull that song. And I listened to it and I said, okay. And everything he said that I did at that show, but I remember it specifically at that show. I'm going through the crowd and I'm listening. And I'm like, okay, okay. I see where the vibe is. I see where, where people were. And I understand where it was. So I knew how to how to push the set that I had. And I only had 15 minutes on this particular night, but I remember exactly how to push my set, how to, how to make it so that it was, it was good, it was successful. And I kind of brought that to song leading in this respect. When I would show up Sunday morning, you have to be aware of what's going on. Me personally, I had to be aware of what was going on. Did anyone pass away this week? Did, uh, was there any severe loss this week? Uh, what's been going on? Was the Bible study extra encouraging? Was uh, the, 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 just everything this morning extra encouraging? Do we have a few more baptisms this past week that we need to celebrate? Um, you know, where's the mindset of the congregation? What's happening in the city? Now, I know there are some that, say, that might say, oh, that's not important. But if something tragic happened in the city... I'm from Philly. If something tragic happened in the city and everybody's affected by it, they're bringing it to worship service. Don't, don't think they're not. They are. They're going to bring it to worship service and now you have to take that and bring them back into focusing on the Lord. Giving everything to the Lord. Is there something going on at the congregation? That's causing conflict. All of these things you have to be aware of. All of these things I, I like to be aware of. Only so that I know what I'm walking into and I know how to approach it. What do you mean how to approach it? You want to pick songs that can circumvent all types of foolishness or that can also bring all types of joy. Because if there are 10 baptisms in the past week, and the congregation, the, now the congregation that shows up Sunday morning is not always the same congregation that's there through the weekend. There have been many times um, we've had to just show up to the, to the church building to let people in so that we can baptize them. And it's been just a joyous occasion that Sunday morning, many of the members don't know. And they're like, hey, we had 10 baptisms this past week. And everybody, oh, well, that's just, a, and everybody's just excited. And so you want to bring those things in and subtract those things that are distracting. Listen, don't worry about the roast that's on the stove. I got that from Paul Williams. But don't worry about the food at home. Don't worry about this and, and, and. You have to bring about a particular mindset. One of my favorite songs, um, well, there's always a, a good entrance song is, We have come into this house 
to magnify the Lord and worship Him, worship Him. We have come into this house to magnify the Lord and worship Him. And and that's and that's and that's good in the general sense. There's other songs. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. The right song to bring people in to relax the things that are on their mind is key. So there are times where the song, because so many things may have happened, you you have to get good at selecting the song to bring people in. Sometimes it's, woke up this morning with my mind, well it was stead on Jesus, Lord. I woke up this morning with my mind, it was stead on the Lord. Sometimes it's, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Well, I just want to thank you. So when it comes to selecting the songs, you have to make sure you're on point with bringing them in to the worship service.